Gareth, thank you for the invitation here today to Crest Engineering. Um, firstly, I'd like to say, and I know that a lot of these parts we won't be able to put on camera, but you have got some tremendous work in progress here. Uh, Crest Engineering, what, what do you do for our viewers? Um, we uh, predominantly work for a company that produce um, casings for their engines for their planes. Um, not only do the engines, we do gearboxes. Is, is, it, is it mainly the aerospace industry that you're, um, you're servicing? Mainly, yes. We are looking into other areas to expand. Uh, we do have audits with um, other sectors and we do keep their approvals. Um, we're always up in our game, trying to make us the best we can to further our advances as a company. I would say that's evident with the level of investment that you've got here. And actually, it seems awfully quiet. It doesn't seem like you've got lots and lots of bodies around. These, these machines are, are continuously working to, to make the parts. And I suppose you've got, what, one operator per few machines, maybe? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we try and keep everything going. Uh, we keep it as smooth as we can. Uh, the bodies is very much of a demand. Um, we are busy. We do have a lot of work. Um, because of the machines they are, we can kind of use them to their full advantage and they're very automated in one respect. Yeah, I mean, all, all the spindles are going, so yeah. that's got to be a good thing. Now, the one spindle that we are interested in here today is this Correa Fox machine, which is one of your most recent acquisitions. This is a highly precise, uh, agile, versatile machine, isn't it? What, what was the uh, nature of your purchase of this? Um, it was a component that we were planning to use it for, really. Um, how precise it is, how good and accurate it needs to be uh, to meet our customers' specifications really. When you look at the accuracy, one of your colleagues told me a minute ago that this has its own thermal uh, sort of uh, stability compensation areas, like for example if it gets too hot it shuts down, and that's just not relating to the spindle, that's relating to the whole of the, 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 the growth of the machine as well. Yeah, absolutely, the thermal compensation's uh, a big massive factor. The climate that the country we're in, you know, it can change just having the door open. So having that and it affects it, can expand the contract of the machines, just makes the component every good every single time. Does the spindle help as well? You've got this, it's the UD, it's the UDX on here. Now this is a BT50, but it's 10,000 RPM. So it's unusual to have a machine or a, a spindle like that as fast as that. Yeah, I think, um, the components we're doing, the material we're using, we can use it for its full advantage and we can get these precise finishes and the areas, the intricate areas it gets to, we can adjust our spindle revolutions just to make it work for us and to compensate for us. Because it's a three plus two, so uh, you can get to a multitude of positions, I'm told. Something like, well, millions and millions of different positions. Do you, do you get the best out of it? Are you doing lots of angles, lots of features? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when looking at the component, you can see all the individual little the minute angles and you, you wouldn't necessarily see them just over the overlook. You really have to look into it to detail to actually see the areas that we actually get to. Because I also noticed with the RAM of this machine, one of the big points that Correa push is the stability. The fact you've got this sort of, I think it's, is it four guideways, I think, supporting the RAM? So there's never any possibility of movement and it dampens out the vibration well as well. Yeah, it just, it just works as an overall, the whole thing. It's just. The way it's so solid and it just keeps its position all the time is just brilliant. Did you need something this big though, when I look at it? I mean, the part we've got on there, and as I said, we can't, we can't unfortunately show it, but is, is this a case of future-proofing Crest Engineering to be able to take on bigger work? Um, it's very much a sense of it, but the fact that we have, the component we have, we do a multiple operations just on that one bed. So it's not just one, necessarily one component on it at one time. We can have two or three of the same component all doing different operations at the same time. Now, your operators labelled this the best machine in the factory. Would you be inclined to agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. It's just how precise it is. Um, the, the, errors, the errors from uh, component to component, they're very minute and we can, we can guarantee every time. Uh, what about DTS as a company and a supplier? Obviously, it's integral to make sure that the, you, you've got the full support of whoever's providing the machine. This wasn't your first courier, you got a performer as well. Um, was that an influence in your decision? Yeah, I think... The way that they come across as a company, the way that we've dealt with them in the past, they're very reliable and any any issues they resolve it quickly and in a good good manner. Uh, because final point for me is where you've got their Honor VTL. So is that I mean you're doing a lot of rings and things here as well. Perfect to, for the turning, the vertical lathes from Honor, then onto the machining centres. Uh, two good machines from DTS? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Can't fault them.